What's up, everybody? My name is Joe Brown. This is Heresy Financial, and Bitcoin is up above $60,000 again for the first time since April earlier this year. And by the time you're watching this, it might already be at all time highs. Now, I made a video a few days ago about the supply and demand dynamics with Bitcoin right now, as short term holders recently bottomed and long term holders reached all time highs. This is significant because short term holders usually drive the trends, and that marks this as the beginning of a potentially huge rally, especially if the news holds true that a Bitcoin ETF from ProShares will start trading as early as Monday of next week. So in this video, we are going to talk about what this new Bitcoin ETF is, how it differs from what's out there right now, like GBTC, and why it could be a huge deal for Bitcoin. Ready? Let's dive in. Gary Gensler is the chairman of the SEC, and he is extremely pro-Bitcoin, at least when you measure him versus other regulators. For a while now, that has given many Bitcoin investors a lot of hope that under his watch, a Bitcoin ETF would be approved. And it looks like that wish is finally coming true, as on Friday, it was announced that a new ETF from ProShares, symbol B-I-T-O, will be listed on Monday and could start trading as soon as within a few few days after that. Now, something to make note of is that this may happen without explicit approval by the SEC of a Bitcoin ETF like this ProShares one. But as long as the SEC doesn't come in last minute and stop it from being listed or trading, the implicit approval is there. Now this is leaving many people wondering, what is the big deal? I can buy Bitcoin myself directly through an exchange like Coinbase. Now you know me, I don't like Coinbase. I use Swan Bitcoin, which I've linked in the description below. And if you use my link, you get $10 worth of Bitcoin as a signup bonus. Many people are also saying that this new ETF opens up the door for retirement money to start Start being invested in Bitcoin. And while that's partly true, you can already do that using a platform like iTrust Capital. You can invest in Bitcoin with your retirement money. If you use my link in the description below, you get your first month free. Not only that, but if you want to have exposure to the price of Bitcoin in your brokerage account, you don't want it in your retirement account. You don't want to mess with an exchange or a wallet. You can already do that with GBTC. So what does a Bitcoin ETF bring that investors already don't have access to? Well, there are a few things. First of all, ETFs are governed by different regulations than trusts. GBTC, it is a trust, which means it is not covered by the Investment Company Act of 1940. This ETF that is planned on being listed on Monday and starting to trade as soon as next week, it is covered by the Investment Company Act of 1940. However, the additional regulations on ETFs are not the only difference between GBTC and this new ETF that's going to start trading next week. GBTC owns actual Bitcoin. This new ETF will not. It will invest in Bitcoin futures. Owning the actual Bitcoin means they have to spend a decent amount of money on figuring out a way to securely store that Bitcoin. Whereas this ETF will have the advantage of not having to care about that because they're just investing in the futures. This also means that investing in this new ETF means investors are buying a derivative of a derivative. And if options ever start trading on this ETF, that's like derivative inception, three layers deep. Another difference is that shares of the ETF are constantly either being created or destroyed. The reason for this is so that the price that investors are paying for the shares matches extremely closely the net asset value. Contrast this with something like GBTC, which cannot create or destroy shares at will, means that investors, when they pay to buy the share of GBTC, sometimes they're paying up to 100% more for those shares than they have Bitcoin to back up the price of those shares. So the net asset value might be right here and the price per share of GBTC will fluctuate wildly around the actual value, the net asset value of the trust. Because of this, during certain times, you might buy GBTC and the price might come down Meanwhile, real Bitcoin is going up. So those are the differences between GBTC and the new ETF that will start trading next week. 
Why does it matter? Well, surprisingly, the most exciting difference is really the regulatory differences. This is because there are many retirement accounts and portfolio managers that are prohibited from buying things like GBTC, simply because they don't have the same regulations covering them. And so for one reason or another, the walls are put up and that money doesn't have access to those types of investments. This ETF, however, will open the doors to millions of investors representing literally trillions of dollars to choose if they want to allocate a small percentage of their assets to Bitcoin. Now, a very small percentage of that big potential pool is likely to buy this new ETF, is likely to go into Bitcoin, but a very small percentage of trillions is still a lot of money. Pair this potential new demand with the extremely historically low supply that I covered a few days ago, and we have the setup for a monster rally. But two big points of caution here. So first point of caution, we've already seen a massive pop in the price of Bitcoin anticipating this news. This indicates to me that we are likely to see a buy the rumor, sell the fact price action take place here over the next couple of days. Very similar to the El Salvador story. The price ran up in anticipation and as soon as it went into effect in El Salvador, the price of Bitcoin dropped. The algos just shake out the weak hands after the expected pop from the approval doesn't happen. Then on the drop, big money buys the dip. Now I do expect that after the dust settles, all the new money coming in through the new ETF will drive the price of Bitcoin much higher. I could be wrong, I could be very wrong, but that is what I expect here. You have to see the average investor looking at this and once they realize, hey, Bitcoin's gone up a lot, Bitcoin's going up right now and suddenly I have access to it, I've got a few hundred thousand in my 401k, why not put a few thousand dollars into Bitcoin? All right, the second point of caution here, please don't buy this ETF and definitely don't buy GBTC. I think a ton of money is going to leave GBTC to go into the new ETF. It's just gonna have much better pricing and it's not going to fluctuate so wildly around its net asset value. But why not buy the ETF? Well, for me, it's the same reason why I would never buy GLD if I wanted to own gold. You have to treat Bitcoin the same way you would a physical asset like gold or silver. You wouldn't leave your gold coin with the gold dealer after you bought it, put it in a cold wallet like Ledger. To me, holding a Bitcoin ETF defeats a lot of the purposes of owning an asset like Bitcoin in the first place. The only similarity that you retain there is just exposure to the price performance. Obviously, none of this is advice. Do your own research, make your own decisions, but this does look like very good news for anybody who is interested in seeing the price of Bitcoin go up. As always, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.